Hello there. Welcome to the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson, and this is another episode of We Are the Church. Happy Thursday, friends. You're getting closer to the end of the week, and that means Sunday is right around the corner, and that's a day for worshiping the Lord and resting from our labors. So can't wait for that, right? Today, I'm going to be reading to you from chapter two of John's first letter to the church. This is 1 John. It's toward the very end of your Bible. 1 John chapter two and verses seven through 11. Here we go. Beloved, I am not writing you a new commandment, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in him and in you because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says I am in the light while hating a brother or st sister is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go because the darkness has brought on blindness. Hate is a four-letter word, and it's uh, like a weed in the soul of every human being. It has to be pulled out and not just cut off at the top or it'll roll right back. You have to get to the root of it and pull it out by its roots. Even the smallest speck of hatred will blossom and grow like a weed until it has overtaken our whole spiritual garden. This was an important point for the author of 1 John. Having seen what God has done uh, in loving the world, as the author of the gospel writes, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Having seen that kind of love poured forth from God, the author of 1 John now has to sit and watch as people who profess to be Christians have taken the opportunity of coming to faith as an opportunity to get an upper hand on others or to exploit the love and the strength and the power of God for their own personal gain or however you want to say it. They have nothing but contempt and hatred for brother and sister. I have said before, and I will say again, 95% of the people that have come to me in my life to counsel with me about God problems are actually having problems with God's people. People problems can get in the way of our faith, and they often do. And so the author of 1 John writes to us and says, look, hatred and the love of God can't coexist side by side. Hatred for our brothers and sisters will blind us to every good cause, blind us to every other um, point of view except our own, and, uh, and it leads to a kind of spiritual idolatry that manifests in worship of self. So I wanna urge you today to do everything in your power to make good with the people in your life with whom you've had some friction. Jesus once said, if your brother sins against you, uh, go and forgive him. And then later he said, if you are on your way to the altar and you find that your brother has something against you, well, leave your gift. Don't go make an offering to God and go in first and, and make peace with your brother. Put it another way. If you're the injured party, it's your responsibility as a Christian to offer terms of peace. And if you're the injurer, the one who has done the injury. It's your responsibility as a Christian to go and offer terms of peace. There's no wiggle room. None of us are off the hook. Our job is to express love toward our brothers and sisters. There's no room for hatred in any of this. That's a word of encouragement for you today. You want to grow closer to God? Find a way to grow closer to those who are in your life every day. Let's be in prayer. Loving God, you have made us in your image, and that means that when we are walking in fullness with you, then we see on the face of every other person in our life the very image of yourself. 
And so we ask you, God, to cultivate in us hearts that are filled with love for one another. Save us from any form of hatred or idolatry that would place ourselves above another. We ask, O oh God, that our hearts may be uh, dwelling places for your love and for your living word. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, friends, for stopping in today. Uh, I'm going to remind you that you can find We Are the Church, this daily moment of encouragement, every single Monday through Saturday, right here on this YouTube channel. And so until next time, I am Pastor Bill Johnson saying, do no harm, do all the good you can, and stay in love with God. Start by loving your neighbor. See you soon.